it seems to me that um, while you, David, have clung to the notion of a small general practice as an essential hub offering the community value, most GPs themselves have accepted that they should now be part of super surgeries, offering lots of additional services. This is one of the kind of modern um, stories about the future of the NHS that we'll all be going to these big super uh, surgeries and that we'll have a very limited relationship, very limited personal continuity with any of the professionals involved. Why is it that healthcare professionals themselves are choosing to, because they are part of this, do away with the commitment of personal, ongoing personal co continuity relationship. Yes, your suggestion that, that professionals themselves are turning away from smaller units, more personal kinds of care, is complex. Partly it's because they think the writing's on the wall and they'd better go with the flow rather than try and resist it, as I did. Um, and in terms of short-term survival, that is, I suppose, the correct thing to do. Um, however, there is a lot of evidence that they don't accept it. How else do we explain the increasing professional demoralization, um, defection, um, and dejection in the profession? Um, people don't like the kind of job it's becoming. So although you might say, oh, well, most professionals approve, we've also got a dwindling, sickening workforce, and that is telling us something. The other thing is that almost all practitioners of my generation, a lot of them have retired now, agree with my proposition that it is the personal satisfaction we get from personal continuity of care that nourishes, that nourished their long careers. The only older practitioners in my experience who don't agree with that are the ones in management positions. Some younger practitioners never knew that world and so therefore do not miss it. However, there are an enormous number of younger doctors who are clearly very dissatisfied. 